Welcome to Cartoonist Kayfabe. My name is Jim Rugg, and today I'm making zines. These are the tools that we'll be using today. First, you need something to trim the zines if you want to make a nice, neat edge, or if the zines are smaller than the uh, initial print and you need to trim off excess in order to create a full bleed. So I'm just using a, a cheap long arm paper cutter that I picked up at an office supply store. Next, you'll need a long arm stapler. This one is a piece of shit. Do not buy this one if you're looking to buy one, if you're planning to make some zines and you wanna buy a stapler, you want this Stanley Bow Stitch. The reason is it's very stable horizontally. So whenever you're stapling, especially through a stack of papers, you're more likely to end up with a straight staple. Uh, this one has much less heavy duty construction. There's more wiggle in this one. And as a result, mm, every third staple or so ends up bent and you have to dig it out and start over. Terrible stapler, good stapler. Prices are basically the same, so buy the good stapler. And finally, this is a bone folder used in paper making and, and paper arts and book arts, basically to fold paper very crisply. Um, you simply fold your paper over, run this over the edge, and end up with a very crisp fold. And those are the tools. Now let's open up our prints and see how they turned out. These prints all come from Best Value Copy. I've been using them. They're an online print service, basically color and black and white laser prints. If you do use them, I recommend trying to print $125 worth to qualify for free shipping because paper is very, very heavy. Uh, as you can see here, this is box one of two. Uh, I'm doing uh, three zines here today, so quite a bit of printing in these. Uh, let's get started. Rambo 3.5. With the new Rambo movie on the way, there's been some interest online for a reprint of these. So uh, this is my Ignatz Award winning mini comic. Uh, and uh, I printed on two different paper stocks. One is an uncoated and one is a glossy surface. The glossy, I have had really good luck with black and white prints. So I thought I would try uh, half of this print run on glossy and half on regular. And Best Buy, as you can see, uh, trimmed these at no extra cost. This is part of the wrestling zine that I'm making. The wrestling zine is a collection of drawings of wrestling and wrestling related characters that I've done over the last decade. And it's done on about seven different paper stocks. So I'm gonna unpack this and then we'll get into collate, collating and all that good stuff. Check out that cover collage. I also made some prints. So this is a print of two people kissing in the stacks of a library. I have an upcoming show at a library conference. Box two of two. This is the second library specific print that I produced. And these are part of a Street Angel sketchbook that I did last year in a small quantity, and I am printing now a uh, second printing. And you can see if it's on the same paper, it's uh, already collated. It's whenever I have extra pieces like that insert that are on different paper that I have to collate these myself. So this zine is composed of uh, several different paper stocks, and as a result, it's not collated. So I lay out each spread on a table and then I go down the line and I grab one of each sheet. Uh, you know, put, put the piles of paper in the order that they're going to be stapled and bound. So once I have all of these, I'm gonna jog them up a little bit. 
Bring in your stapler. The stapler has a setting here. Uh, you can adjust this, tra this uh, slider to whatever size you want to make your uh, staple. In this case, it's eight and a half. There's no exact science to where, how far from the top or bottom you staple. And this is a saddle stitch. Then I fold it in half. And you can see this one is, is pretty badly stapled. Uh, I'm off by an eighth of an inch or so. Got to fix that. And my final action then is to uh, trim the outside edge. And there's a guide up here with measurements, uh, kind of a quick, easy reference to get about where you want it to be. And that gives you a nice crisp edge. And that's the wrestling zine. For the Street Angel zine, there are only three different papers. So I have the cover, I have most of the interior, and then a center fold that's on a different stock. Put those together, same collation process as the wrestling zine. Jog those pages together. And then for the stapler, I'm going to change from eight and a half to approximately five and a half. So you just slide that clip forward. Take the bone folder, make a nice crisp edge. And this one I trim half of an inch off of each side, which makes for a pretty neat finished zine. So the first cut eight inches. Second cut around the five inch mark. Final cut at seven and a half. And this is the Street Angel sketchbook, mostly filled with um, promotional pieces, commissions, sketches that I've done in books. So a variety of Street Angel drawings. And like I said, the centerfold is a different stock Oh, looks like this one was done upside down. <laughs> Have to fix that on the next version. The third zine that I'm making today is a reprint of Rambo 3.5. This is a true mini comic. And by true mini comic, I mean it's four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall, which is a standard printer or copy paper sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11. You end up with eight pages per uh, eight and a half by 11 standard piece of paper. And then you cut it once across the middle, staple it, fold it in half, and you've got a zine. It's all the same paper stock. So like I said, this is kind of what I think of as a real mini comic, a traditional mini comic, what I grew up learning a mini comic was. Very easy to make. This is about as easy to produce as you can get. The stapler this time, I've moved my brace to four and a quarter inches. Fold it in half and hit it with the bone folder just to make that fold nice and crisp. What I do once these zines are made is I actually put them under a, um, a stack of EC hardcovers <laughs> to uh, press them and really make that fold stick. So everybody who has been asking about the Rambo three and a half, they've been out of print for a while. I don't know whether this will be the last time I print them or not, but uh, they're available now for the moment. So those are the three zines. These are all fairly common sizes, you know, 11 by 17 folded in half, eight and a half by 11 folded in half, eight and a half by 11 cut in half and then folded in half. Uh, mini comics, this is commonly referred to as digest. And this is basically a magazine size. 
but I see a lot of people uh, making zines and comics this size. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have never made a mini comic, I hope that uh, this will encourage you to do so. The saddle stitching is probably one of the easiest processes for making mini comics and zines. And most of the places where you will have uh, copies made or laser prints made, you can actually have them do the binding as well. A lot of them have a saddle stitch machine. It's an option with best value printing, although if you're using different paper stocks like I tend to do, uh, you're better off doing that yourself. I'm not sure they offer that service. If they do, it's probably for a premium. Like, follow, and subscribe our channel. Share it with a friend. Click the little bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. You can also support the Cartoonist Kayfabe channel through our merchandise, which you can find at our spread shop in the link below the video. Thanks for watching, and remember, make more comics.